This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good night, good night, Paige Arnoff fan. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful night? I'm doing great. Thank you. We're getting a huge snow, not a huge, a little snowstorm here in Boston tonight. Four inches, maybe five inches of snow. Oh my. Well, we do have in my email draft inbox an email saved uh, that I can send you with Caribbean sunshine. Should I send that your uh, way? I would love. Send me some sunshine. That sounds <laughs> perfect. That's I grew one. up in Louisiana, so I love oh the my. sunshine. Oh my. What made you switch to go to the cold? Well, originally I came to Boston for graduate school, and then we moved back here about 20 years ago just for jobs. We, my husband and I got jobs here. Mm. Well, do tell me which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this specific time in history. So uh, you found me through a public speaking uh, forum that I'm part of, and I love doing public speaking. Um, I know a lot of people think it's scary and they hate it. They'd rather go to the dentist and get a root canal. But for me, I enjoy speaking to groups and talking about things I'm excited about. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, that group has some amazing people. Innovation Woman, yeah, by Bobby Carlton. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. She, she's a dynamo. So who did you learn uh, that? Uh, let's, let's, let's pin it down to... All right, let's do let's do courage, right? Because it is it does take courage to get out it on that stage, right? Yeah, who, I, did, who did you learn I, that from? Well, I think first and foremost, maybe my parents and grandparents. I'm I'm the oldest child in my family, and I was the first child on first grandchild on both sides. So I loved having an audience, and <laughs> I was never bashful or scared to talk in front of people as a little kid. And then my dad was in business, and he used to give lots of speeches, and he loved it. He was very comfortable doing it. And then once I started working, I would watch my boss or the president of the company give a speech, and I saw how powerful it can be to be a, a good communicator. And so it's a skill that I've really tried to get better at in, in my career. I've you know, taken classes and practiced and you know, tried to improve my public speaking ability. Uh, I just see how important it is to, to my success. Uh, yeah, it's a principle, right? As well, um, applicable to the entirety of life, right? Like there's something you set out to accomplish and there are challenges and you go through the ups and downs. Uh, given that, like, why will you continue to repeat that skill of walking in life and courage? Yeah, I think it's a critical life skill. I mean, I think... You know, you have to find out what the levers are that um, have high impact. And when you find things that work and that help you accelerate your message and do a better job of sharing your gift with, with the, the audiences you want to reach, I think you have to just keep doing it. And cranking up the volume. So that's what I try and do. Crank up the volume, crank up the volume. I mean, so tell us, uh, tell us about what you do professionally as, a, as, as the marketing, uh, communications, and brand expert, please. So I, I work with organizations of uh, small ones, medium sized, and large, large organizations for profit and nonprofit that need access to great marketing talent to help them get their story out. So I help them find the right words and pictures to find their audience and get more business. And I love helping organizations that I'm excited about, that I enjoy, that I, I want to help them be more successful. And I think marketing is a really important way to help people get their stories out there. Mm, I totally agree. There was a quote I jumped into recently. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's, it's something by Henry Ford. And he said... Uh, stop like to stop paying for ads. I'm paraphrasing here, right? To stop paying for ads is like to stop your watch expecting time to slow down. <laughs> no, I, I think you know, if you talk to a lot of the great business leaders, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, they understand the power of 
getting your message out there through the media and, you know, telling your story, that that's one of the most powerful ways you can find find consumers and customers Mm -hmm. and sell your products and services. So I think it's really important. Yeah, it is. Where's the best place for someone that's listening to connect with you? To connect with me? Um, Online, definitely. Um, LinkedIn or through my website are probably the two best places. Yeah, I love your name. I don't think there are any challenges finding you via your name. me, it's really me. That is true. So if I do anything bad, it would really be me. So I have to stay very (laughs) positive and upbeat because it would all, it would ruin my reputation online for sure. Definitely. Well, do tell us one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years, please. So, you know, I've really made a very conscious effort to do something active every day, seven days a week. Um, I take a walk, I exercise, um, I do Tai Chi, I get a massage, I, I try and do something uh, active because I just think it's really important as an entrepreneur and business owner, it's very easy to get stuck behind your desk and never do anything, uh, you know, for yourself. And I think the first five years I had my company, I was scared to take a vacation. I was, I worked all the time. I never took time for myself. And I think now my company's 18 years old. And so I'm very conscious about, um, being a little more holistic and I don't know if I'm balanced, but I'm more integrated in terms of, spending time with my friends and family, exercising and working, not just working all the time. Mm-hmm. How does it make you feel looking back from now to then? Uh, how oh, does it, make I, you feel? I, it makes you feel great. I think when you spend time with people you care about and when you exercise and move and do work that's really good for your body, um, it's great for your mind. It makes you feel wonderful. Hmm. Well, amazing audience. Again, you're hearing it live from Paige arnoff uh, She is the founder and CEO of Mavens and Moguls. Yeah, that's how you would say or would you say Moguls? Mavens and Moguls. You got it. So there we go. All right, let's switch gears for a moment now. Let me now invite you, Paige, into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Paige, Love it. what is your earliest childhood memory? So I think my earliest memory would have been when I was three years old and my brother was born because, um, like I said, I was the only child. I was the only grandchild and I had the whole world around me. You know, I was the focus of every adult's attention. And then I got a little brother. So that kind of shocked me. I think that's probably <laughs> the, first, the very first thing that I, I can remember. <laughs> How do you see that memory connecting to who you are today? Well, I think when you're the oldest child, um, you're used to being in charge and being responsible. And I guess for me, I think that's just part of my DNA. I've always been a bit of a bossy big sister, and (laughs) I like being in charge. I like uh, kind of leading, leading the troops, and I was always responsible for my little brother and little sister's well-being as the oldest child and so you know you would learn how to lead people and manage them and look after them and get people to a certain destination successfully and I think that's just part of who I've always been I think that's probably has a lot to do with my leadership yeah I love it I think you did well there I love well, it I hope so. my parents <laughs> thought so <laughs> if we fast forward to when you were 12 years old what was your favorite song So when I was 12, it was kind of the mid to late 70s, and I was a huge fan of Stevie Wonder. I think his his song when when I was 12 was Sir Duke, which I loved, and I loved Michael Jackson and the Jackson Five. Pretty much anything they sang, I I had the album and I played it constantly. Love it. All right, my friend. Well, we've arrived at our destination, but before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready, Paige? I'm ready. Paige, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Um, yes. Are you married? Yes. Do you have children? No. Do you believe in God? Yeah, do you I a, do. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Absolutely, do yes. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No, uh, I wish I could. <laughs> how about three hours a week? 
Oh, definitely. What about screen time? The phone under the computer, is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Oh, boy. It depends on the day. Right. I, most, most days less than eight, but I, I've, I've been known to cross over. All right. Paige, if you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, Paige Arnoff Fenn, what would you say that is? Wow. Um, I would say that money comes and goes in your life, but time only goes one direction. So you really have to spend your time wisely with the people that you care the most about and on the things you are passionate about, because you don't want to look back and regret that you spent your time doing things with people you didn't care about. And I think that's probably the most important thing in love life. It. Paige, this is what let me take a page out of your book. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Paige, this is such a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Well, I really appreciate you checking in. I've really enjoyed chatting. I think it's been a fun conversation. And if people want to learn more about me or my business or my background, you can go to my website, uh, www.mavensandmoguls.com. It's M-A-V-E-N-S-A-N-D-M-O-G-U-L-S.com. And you've got all the articles I've written, a lot of the talks I've given, and you can contact me through the website. Love it, Paige. Again, great pleasure. Thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Angel, thanks a ton. It's been fun. You're welcome. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise.